And now let's go over the second R for our concept explanation for neural network structures. Now this time we'll be going over activation functions and optimization algorithms. And we're just giving an overview for the most common uh, ones actually used for deep learning model development. So to start with activation functions, the most common ones are typically going to be sigmoid, the hyperbolic tangent function, uh, the rectified linear unit or ReLU, the leaky ReLU, and or softmax. And I have the following acronym down here for memorization, S-T-R-L-R-S. Uh, to be able to go off, you can make any type of uh, acronym you want to be able to have memorized, but this is just a brief overview and we'll be going further in depth for each uh, activation function. And to start, the first one to explain will be the sigmoid function. Now, the sigmoid function, also known as the logistic function, produces an S-shaped curve. Let's get rid of these. So we, this sigmoid function, or sigmoid functions in general, is it logistic? Function. And it takes any real value number and maps it in a range between zero that we have over here and one. But not exactly to the boundaries of zero or one, just for context. Uh, this characteristic is useful when the function is used to model the probability in binary classification. So great for binary classification. At high positive values of x, so on the x-axis that we have over here, as the sigma function produces more positive values, the function approaches one. We see on the y-axis, as it goes up and up and up and up, it's going to get closer to one. And this indicates a high probability of the positive binary uh, classification. So high probability. of positive classification. Let me just make this really quick. High, prob high probability of positive classification. Conversely, as the x is uh, approaching a higher neg or lower negative value, uh, such as negative 5, negative 10, negative 100, um, the, this would represent the high probability of a negative probability in binary classification. So negative probability. of classification. Since we already noticed that the value, the y value, is approaching closer and closer and closer to zero as we have um, more negative values in the x-axis conversely with the higher probability as there are more positive numbers we notice this correlation over here and the functions output can be interpreted as a probability because for any given input value of x the output value is between zero and one and the total sum across multiple sigmoid functions can be normalized to sum up to one. So classification between zero and one. And to give a breakdown for each of the following symbols for the sigmoid function, I'm going to use a different color. So we have the sigmoid function over here. And then we have x, which represents our input. Then we have Euler's number as well. 
so sigmoid we access our input and E is going to be Euler's number which is roughly uh, 2.7 one eight two eight let me just zoom out of here there we go and feel free to take a screenshot of this part and so yeah thank you very much for taking time to watch this if you found this video helpful be sure and feel free to please like and subscribe and if you have any other questions feel free to put it in the comment section and as always take care cheers bye bye